Welcome back. We are going to do a kind of a cool little script today and I want to show you what it looks like first. If I run this, what I'm seeing is a calendar output with some highlighted dates. And this is all pulled from a report file uh, that has a bunch of dates and you want to pull them out and see them in calendar form. Uh, this is going to do that for you. So there are a couple of things that could make this better and I'll leave that to you to be creative and figure out how to extend this. So we're going to do bash scripting today. So follow me on over to the code. So go ahead and create a brand new .sh file. I've called it demo right here. So all we need is our boilerplate up here for telling us, telling the computer that we're using bash. Let's start off though with the terminal because actually a lot of this has to do with some terminal utilities. And I think that's really important to kind of understand before we get going here. If we just do cal for calendar, we can see we have our current month, our current year, and even highlighting the day, which is super nice. And that's kind of just cool on its own. Maybe you're coding and you forget what day it is. Uh, this is an easy way to just kind of reorient yourself in time. Another nice one to know is the dash three. So if we do this, we actually are going to see our month in context of three other months, three total months. So we've got June, July, and August. So we've got our past month, our current month, and our next month. And then there's another one if we want to change our month view. So maybe I don't want to look at my current month. Maybe I want to look at a specific month in the calendar. I can go cal M for month, and then we can use a, a number or a name of a month. And we can even use just the three letter English abbreviation of a month. For example, January, J A N. So if I do that, we can see January 24. 24. That means we're using the current year that it is and we're looking at January's calendar. You notice there's no highlight because the current day is not today. And we can see um, we can see February as well and this time I, I decided to use the the two. It doesn't have to be a leading zero. It will still work even with just a, a plain old number. All right so you can kind of see how this is starting to play into the the final product of what we're trying to do with the script of printing out a calendar. However, you can see since there is no highlighting when we're not in our current month, what do we do? Well, we actually have a little bit of a, a utility here to add a highlight. And this is actually intended, the intended use for this is for debugging um, by changing the, the current date. So we're gonna change our current date and it's going to highlight it. So uh, we're going to do, um, let's do cal dash M and we'll, we'll just do February. That's fine. And we're going to highlight uh, 2024. So what I'm doing is I'm inputting the, the full date string right here. So my year is 2024, uh, 02 for February. And let's do, I don't know, the let's do Valentine's Day, the 14th. So now we can see we have print out the calendar as if today were the 14th and that's why it is highlighted right now. So this is going to be really critical to our script and it's really nice that we have this ability, but let's go ahead and jump into our code and try to figure out how to create a script that will help us to add multiple months of highlights. So if I look over at this little report.txt file that I've got, really simple. I'm thinking maybe there's something, some kind of audit your business does every month. And maybe you keep a record of that, like this was last done on, you know, June 23rd. And then the next one is scheduled for this date and, you know, whatever. So I've just got some random dates in here. You'll notice this one is a previous year date and that will become important soon. And so uh, this is just good to have a couple of different variations of dates so that we can kind of get a little bit of a more flexible script going. All right, so the very first thing that we're going to have to do is actually grab all of those dates out of our report.txt. And so I'm actually going to go back into the terminal to kind of explore this. Let's clear our screen. And now we can go. So I know that I have access to my reports.txt. That's going to be inside of my data file reports.txt. Yeah, data, let's see, cat data 
report.txt. There we go. <laughs> so we can see I do have access to it. It's at this. It's in this file at this name. So I need to. I need to remember it's uh, not plural. If we clear the screen again, now what we're going to have to do is extract those dates. We want to find the dates and then keep them inside of some kind of variable so we can leap over multiple dates. So the easiest way that I could figure out is kind of using sed, which is a utility. So what we're going to do is sed n. So I will have a link in the description for the code for this. Basically, we're going to pop in this whole thing which is going to be really fun. <laughs> Oops, there we go. So this is a regular expression. What we're doing basically is we're saying, hey, said, can you pull out any time you see this pattern, which is a digit in a set of four. So that would be our year. So this encompasses the year, the like 2024. This is a digit, any of the digits in a set of two. So like, 0, 01 for January or 12 for December and dashes in between both of these and then our final set of di of digits that have a set of two digits inside of it that would be the date so like um, 0, 07 for the seventh day of the month or 31 we need to pass it one more thing we're going to give it our report report dot text and let's just see what happens. So you can see that it is pulling out all of these dates. And so this is perfect. Now we can pop this into our, if I copy this over, we can pop this right into here. We're gonna create a dates variable. We can just set, um, we're gonna use the dollar sign and parentheses so that we can execute this command and then save that output into this variable called dates. So now that we have our dates, the only thing left really is to loop through each date and then simulate as if we we're ca calling for each date. Like I could just type manually into this that I want cal dash M. I want it to be, um, well, we'll take this first one. So uh, zero six, and we want to highlight the date of 2024 dash zero six dash 23. Our script is instead going to take care of having to run this command for each one of these dates that it's found. So we're going to create a little loop really fast. Let's go down a couple lines and we're going to say for date in dates. And uh, oh, since this is a, a variable, we need to reference it with the dollar sign. And we're going to put a semicolon and then do because we're setting up a, a loop. We're going to loop through all of these and then we're going to say done uh, once that for loop has completed. So everything in here is what we're going to tell the terminal to do on our behalf. So instead of typing out each of those cal commands, we're going to have it do it itself. So we could just do cal dash a, uh, h with the date. And what we're doing here is um, we're saying grab this date, whatever the first one is, that, that uh, June 23rd or whatever it was, right up here. And we want it to, um, we just want to pipe it in and just say, hey, highlight this date. If I save, let's go ahead and check out what happens here. So I'm going to clear the, the terminal. The first thing that we need to do is actually make this uh, runnable, executable. So what we have to do is we'll first do chmod for change mode plus x. That gives us the ability to run this script um, to, to execute it. And then we're going to put in our, so now we can be able to actually run this script and test it out and see what happens. So if I go demo, there we go. So sh, that's our script. You can see it's doing some weird stuff right now. First of all, it's not actually uh, using the, the correct calendar at all, um, and it's not highlighting. And that's because we need to do a little bit of, of cutting things up to help with this date here. One thing we could do is we could try adding the month so we can force it to be 06 since that's our first date. Let's see if that helps at all. So if we go back into our terminal, I'm going to rerun this and we can see we've switched now the calendar to June, which would be correct for our first date, obviously not all four of them, but um, it is highlighting this first one 
which is great. That's exactly what we want, but it's not highlighting any of the other dates because they're not in June. So we need some way to dynamically pull out these specific months out of our dates that we've collected, right? Let's do that right in here in this for loop. We're gonna create a month variable that's gonna contain the, we're gonna execute something on this. So we're gonna do the do dollar sign parentheses. Then we're gonna say echo the date, the current date, which is this one right here in this for loop. We're gonna cut out just the month part. So if we know, we know our string looks like this. So we wanna cut out this part and assign that to our month variable. We're gonna pull out the, the value of this date, that's what this echo is doing. Then we're gonna pipe it, and we're gonna put this output into our cut utility, and we're gonna use the delimiter of a dash, so we can just do dash d dash, because th that's what's in between each of these groups. If we think of year, month, day groups, um, they're all, uh, everything in between is a dash, so we can cut up cut by each of those dashes and then since we want the month that's going to be this is group one the year this is group two and this is group three for the day so month is going to be dash f2 and that should give us the month of of what we're trying to do so if i uh it, we can actually just check our work here let's echo out our month and if we go back into our terminal Let's see what happens when we run our script. We can see, obviously, we haven't fixed this just yet, but we can see we did pull out the month, 06. We did pull out the month for the next one, which was 08. 05 was the next date, and 03. So it is pulling out the correct month for each of the dates that we've extracted from our report.txt file right here. So the only thing left is to get rid of this. Instead of hard coding the calendar uh, month, we want to just add in our month variable. We don't need to echo out this anymore. And if we run this, hopefully we'll see something pretty cool. Actually, let's clear the screen first. There we go. Let's run it and we can see, okay, we're highlighting March. We didn't highlight May for some reason, and August and June are also highlighting, which is awesome. So if we wanna figure out kind of what's going on here, I'm not sure why May decided not to work. So if we go back here to our report, we can see, ah, this is why May did not show the highlighted day. It's because it's actually in the year 2021, which is not our current year. And uh, since right now we haven't said specified a year anywhere in here other than it's inside the date technically, um, but it's not gonna show you a year unless you express that year in the command line. So we can make this as complicated as we want to. So in order to kind of uh, keep things a little bit contained, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna say, you know what, 2021 is not relevant in this, in this project. I just wanna worry about our current dates in the current year. So uh, that's one way to solve it. If you wanna take the script and kind of work on it and uh, and figure out a way to you know, manage this, we could obviously add in a year, a year uh, date here as well and then insert it into this uh, command. That might be one way to solve it. Um, but I'm gonna say that we wanna prioritize our current year. We're gonna create a variable to hold our current year. Uh, and the cool thing is we can actually just grab our current year from the terminal. So if we type in date, at least on a Mac, um, we've got the date just printed out just like this right here. If we wanna get 2024 from this command, we can do something similar just right up here. We're gonna say execute uh, the date command, just like we just barely did. But this time we wanna pull out just the, the very end of it. So the 2024 is the very last group in the output. And so one way to do this, it's not super easy conceptually, but it was a lot easier. Uh, I ran into some other problems with using other utilities. So there may be another way to do this, but I'm just gonna use the awk uh, command and we're gonna put inside of some single quotes, I'm gonna put our curly braces, print, and then dollar sign NF, and that should get our last group in this, in this uh, output. So if I just 
grab this part. Oh, and this outer stuff, I just saw this. This is not supposed to be a curly brace. It should be just parentheses. <laughs> so we can solve that one before we get a bug. Um, if we go back into our terminal, just so we can kind of confirm this, let's run it and we can see we got 2024. And that's great because that means that now we have access to our current year. So we need to update our dates um, finder, right? Our regex right here. So we're gonna get rid of all of this, do a dollar sign and current year. Uh, one thing I will call out is if you did this in single quotes, you're gonna wanna change that to double quotes in order to be able to access our, our variables. And so uh, make sure that's there. So if I hit save, let's go ahead and go back to the terminal. Let's run our command. And now we can see we are no longer printing out that May date, that May calendar, I should say, because it was May 2024 anyway, so it was the incorrect calendar. And now only the, the dates that are within our current year are showing, and each one is showing their highlighted day based on whatever was in the report.txt, which is super cool. So yeah, we've ignored May, everything else is being pulled in. Um, the only other thing, that I think can make this a little bit better is, you know, June, August, March, it's kind of out of order, right? Before we wrap up the last part of the script, I wanted to call out that I do have a weekly email newsletter called Cyborg. It's all about technology and the intersection of technology and humanity. So if you like the coding stuff, stick around on this channel. If you want to get more into some theory, some productivity and creativity and some of those themes, um, maybe check out that newsletter. I'll keep it linked in the description. Thanks. But we can actually sort our dates chronologically really easy just by adding in a pipe to the sort function. We don't even need any flags. If we just hit save, and let's go ahead and run this one more time. Now we can see it's now printing out our dates in chronological order, March, June, August, and it's highlighting multiple dates. Um, the only other thing is, let's say we had another one, another date that happened to be in the same month. Let's just see what happens there. If I run this one more time, we're gonna see we have June printed out and June printed out. So. There is that uh, concern with this script. It's not perfect, but if you really do have a cadence of literally just once a month in those in, in that report, whatever it is, and you do wanna just focus on the current year, then this script is gonna be a nice little one to just, just have on hand. And uh, I, I think it can be easily updated and used in other situations. So feel free to take this and make it your own. And uh, let me know if you find something cool uh, to do with this. And I'd be excited to see that.